What's a band's favorite food? I don't know what. Rock melon. <laughs> Let's go. I have this little guy right here that keeps bugging me because we were gifted some rock melon or cantaloupe. <laughs> cantaloupe if you're in the state. And so we want to preserve up all this fruit and goodies that we've been given. And so this little guy, even though I'm editing a different video, really wants us to cut up the cantaloupe, AKA rock melon, like now. He just wants some so bad. So I'm gonna be nice and go do that for him. And then I'll get back, I'll come back and do the rest of the preserving later. All right, these are the rock melon that I was given, or cantaloupe, whatever you want to call them. And they've got little spots on them that need to be cut off, and they're a bit older. But all in all, they are in really good condition. I've been trying my best for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile. Even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. Trying to be like the rest, but I'm not. I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with you Yeah I'm on my way now I'm curious what you prefer. Do you guys like when I use this ring light for lighting? Or would you prefer I just use the natural lighting because I wanna do what looks the best for your guys' eyes? So let me know what you guys think. Which one do you like? All right, there we have it. All that sweet, juicy rock melon is now going to be preserved up in my freezer. And I am so, so grateful for this. This is 100% free. It was given to me, so win. Every little bit counts, guys. And I was also given these pears, which really need to be preserved because, or frozen. I actually thought about making pear butter, but I don't have the water bath canner, so that wasn't really feasible for me unless you could freeze it I was thinking about freezing it but I wasn't sure how that would go so I didn't do that but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and freeze up these pears I would like to make a pear pie or a pear crumble or some sort of a pear dessert and so I thought I would just freeze these up and then I'd pull them out later and see how they go in a dessert that's what it's all about is testing things out and that's the stage I currently am you know, in my journey is figuring out which ways I like to preserve things and how I like to plant things and what vegetables I like, what fruit I like, and figuring out what works for me so that in the future I can do what works best for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just slice these down with the apple core and I'm gonna take out the cores and I'm going to freeze them. Simple as that and all of these juicy, juicy, extremely sweet pears are all nice and preserved up for my family. I'll be going away for a while. Oh, and I don't know what I'll find. Maybe I can be a rock star, playing songs on my guitar. I know I have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself. Shouldn't be so complicated. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all. Behind. If you've been with me for a while, then you know that currently, right now, I'm on a get out of debt journey. I've been very 
um, determined on doing that. And it's the same thing with things like this, like preserving. Every little bit counts. Just like every dollar counts towards paying off your debt, every pear that I am slicing right here is one thing that my family can eat, that can nourish my family, that we can save money on. It's all one big mindset in every aspect of my life right now. It really is true that where your focus goes, your energy grows, and your life starts becoming more purposeful and you start being able to reach your goals faster and everything just starts working for you and it's such a beautiful thing. I am so grateful for these pears. They were 100% free. I do not take that for granted. All right, we also were given some free zucchinis, which I wanted to make some zucchini bread. These have been sitting in my refrigerator now for a week and they're just getting older and older. They were already old when I was gifted them. So I really wanna wash them up. And what I'm gonna do is just grade them. I, I washed them really, really well. And I'm just going to grade them, get the juice out of them. And I'm going to put them in the freezer for a later date. This is again testing to see how zucchini that's been grated and frozen and then defrosted, how that will do when baking zucchini bread. I feel like it will be fine, but this is a test. It's all a big test, one thing after another, working towards this life of simple, simple living and being more grounded in the more natural side of life. And it's what it's all about. And I love that everything I'm doing right now is kind of connecting in a way that is so synergistic and beautiful. If you're wondering what I was planning on doing with that juice, that zucchini juice, I'm just going to preserve it. I'm going to go ahead and freeze it. I think it would be a really good base to a soup. And so I'm going to go ahead and just stick it straight in my freezer. One more thing. Every little bit counts, guys. I kind of wish I would have kept that zucchini juice out because I have all these other vegetables which I want to do a soup with and a couple of other things. So let's show you guys what I got and then I will show you what I'm going to do with it. We've got ourselves some broccoli, which we are going to keep and preserve up because it's going a little bit yellow, a, bit, a little bit weird. We've got this fennel, needs to be used up. Two eggplants definitely need to be used up. An onion that needs to be used up. Some peppers that are feeling very soft need to be used. Another pepper. These are little um, snacking peppers. I'm not sure if they're good or not. They're feeling a bit soft. We're going to have a look at those. We've got more of them here. Come back little pepper. We've got some celery here which is going a bit slimy in some spots. We've got some radishes. They really need to be used up. And some cucumbers that need to be used up. These are feeling like they're still able to be snacked on. So I'm going to eat these today with my kids. So I'm gonna put those aside. I've got two pomegranates. They need to be used up. Oh, three pomegranates. Then I've just got some plums, which we will snack on today because they're perfectly sweet and juicy and delicious. This iceberg lettuce I bought myself, but it also needs to be used up. I think we're all, I will make some sort of a hamburger for dinner or something for the kids, and I'll just wrap mine in lettuce. So that's our first little pile of what needs to be used up. Kale, that really needs to be used up. It's getting a little flimsy, a little bit weird. This, this bok choy is very soft. It definitely needs to be used up. So we'll put that there. These mangoes that need to be used up, I'll just let my kids eat these today. I, I have three leeks that have seen better days. These need to be used up. I have a bag of organic carrots. Got some more bok choy looking stuff, which really needs to be used up as well. We'll stick that right there. And lastly, I was giving some kamatos, so they need to be used up as well. And there we have it guys. This is everything else that we need to preserve up. So I forgot to show you guys, we have the sweet potato. It's definitely off on the one side. I was not given this, I bought this, but I'm gonna put it in here as well because we definitely need to use that up as well.
I saw another YouTuber. I believe her channel name is Feel Good Foodie. I'll put the link down below to the video I'm referring to, but she used radishes in the place of potatoes. She air fried the radishes. And I'm so intrigued by this idea. I will be coming back to this later in the video to give this a go. Now with the rest of these vegetables, I want to do two things. Originally, I had two plans. I ended up doing more than what I'm telling you here, but I'll get to that later in the video. I used some of the vegetables in a soup base, so just to, a really vegetable rich soup, and the other half I wanted for a stock. Next time I make a chicken stock or a bone stock, and so I'm going back and forth between the two different bags, and I will show you at the end what I ended up doing. So just know that right now I'm going in between putting stuff in the soup, the bag for the soup, and the bag for the broth. Originally, I was going to put the broccoli in the soup as well, but I decided that I wanted to clean it up and put it aside for some beef and broccoli, so I'll come back to that in a moment. are going to go in the soup bag which has the kale and the fennel in it and the leeks so I'm just going to go ahead and put those in and then keep going on with the rest of it. With the organic carrots I went ahead and I did half in big chunks and I'm going to put that in the base for the stock and then the other half I chopped it up very very fine like I did the sweet peppers and I put that in the soup base. It's raining outside really hard so I'm sorry if you can hear the, that in the background of my voiceover. I just wanted to jump in here quickly and tell you that with the tomatoes and the kamados I went ahead and cut them in half to check them out and make sure that they were in good decent condition. In a couple of weeks time I want to make a lasagna base and a spaghetti base and so I just put them in a bag and I froze them for a later date. Like I said, I was going to be doing a lasagna in a few weeks' time, so I wanted to get these eggplant uh, sliced up, and I, all I did was cut them, the ends off, and then I washed them really well, and then I sliced them very thinly so that I could save them in the freezer. I want to test out how they do if I freeze them raw, putting them in a lasagna later, and so I will let you guys know how that goes in the future. But that's what I did with the eggplant. And then lastly, we've got the beef and the broccoli to make up. I don't have the beef yet for this meal, but I want to go ahead and prep the broccoli and the bok choy and the other vegetable that resembled a bok choy, which I don't know the name of. I wanted to go ahead and get those all prepped up nice and clean them. I washed them really well and I chopped them up and then I added them to a bag together for the beef and broccoli and then I labeled the bag. I can't remember what I labeled it, but you can see later, but... All I'm trying to say is the vegetables are nice and ready and preserved and I don't have to worry about them going bad and they're in the freezer ready for me when I want to make the beef and broccoli meal. One of my favorite veggies to eat is the very, very middle, the core of a broccoli stem. It is so tender and sweet and it just tastes so good and I highly recommend you give it a try. I love it. Another one? Yes, please. So good for your belly. I know I'm all over the place with these different freezer meals, but I'm just kind of going in between the bags and was deciding what I wanted to do as I went along. I just chopped up the onion. We finished off the stock base right now. I even left the paper of the onion on. But now we've got a beautiful stock base for chicken or beef, whatever I want to end up doing. And here is all the food. I'm so grateful I did this. Look at all this food for my family that I preserved up, which would have been had gone off completely in a day or two had I not done it. But I went ahead. I took an hour to preserve all of this stuff up and now we're going to get it put into our freezer and I can grab it out when I need it and instead of this being a stressful thing having the food in my refrigerator it's a peaceful thing having it in the freezer for my family when we need these different things for whatever meal we're making I'm so grateful for this all right I want to get the radishes done up and air fried I'm going to use my Cuisinart. I don't have the actual pull-out air fryer one with the little pull-out tray, but I do have a Cuisinart, so we'll go ahead and do it like that. 
I was upstairs trying to take a nap. It did not work. But I am a little bit more rested up, so that's okay. All in all, feeling good. It is such a dark day today, and I'm like, is this the time of year? I feel like I'm always gonna have to have this ring light on. It's just getting darker and darker. And my hours to edit with lots of light are going down, down, down. So that's fun. All right, I was gonna cook them up in a pan, but I decided I was gonna air fry them instead. So I'm just going to mix in the oil and the seasoning. She uses taco seasoning and olive oil. I'm going to use avocado oil and I'm going to use uh, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm gonna mix that up, stick it in the air fryer and let it go. Next, I wanna get on top of this sweet potato because the end of that is looking so gross and just like I thought, ew, it is so bad. So I chopped it in even further and it was fine. So I chopped off this sprout because I kinda of wanna plant it. Do you guys think that will work? I'm gonna to totally plant it. And then I took off all of the skin of the sweet potato because I didn't trust that it wasn't gross underneath there, but it was fine. So I chopped it up into sweet potato fries and used the same seasoning as I used on the radish, just salt, uh avocado oil garlic powder onion powder and like i said some salt and then i mix that all up together and i stuck it in the oven i'm not gonna lie those radishes i'm upstairs they smell like potatoes maybe i'm kind of i'm kind of feeling hopeful yeah weird Let's try them. Okay. I feel like if a radish, no sorry, if a squash and a potato had a baby and you cooked it like a potato, that's what it's like. And it's not bad. Excuse me. It's not bad. Texture wise, very watery kind of like a squash like it's nice I like it I'm trying to think would this hit the spot if I wanted potatoes I didn't have and I didn't have potatoes I mean honestly yeah I think it would huh. I'm not gonna lie I was skeptical clearly I like that I'm sitting here just eating them all like what? Cooked radishes, you wanna try it? Are you down to try? What it is like? You tell me. Tell me if it tastes like a potato. Or nothing like a potato. Mm. Good or not good? Even if you don't like it, you can tell me. It, it's really good. But it, it kind of tastes like a potato, but then it also tastes like a... Like a... It's just like a radish and a potato mixed up. It's kind of watery, huh? Yeah. Like it's not like a potato is like creamy, like potato because it's kind of like creamy. Yeah. It's kind of like watery, right? You want to try another one? Yes. Do you want a couple to take over with you? Yes, please. Well, that one tastes like a potato. Did it? It wasn't watery. I mean, I think that it would hit the spot for sure if I felt like potatoes, but... Interesting. It's interesting. Well, my son likes them. Pile the bowl. Yes, yeah, so like make a pile on the bowl. Bowl pile. Just put, no, just put one And a on cherry top. on top. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's good. I like it. I'm trying to think what the texture makes me think of, though. Kind of like a squash. Texture is kind of like a squash potato. If a squash and a potato had a baby. I can't stop eating this. It is good, yeah. Hamish really likes it. So it is good. But it's not exactly like a potato, so. I would definitely cook it up like this again, for sure. It's very good. I think if you had the right dip too, you could make yourself feel like it's hitting the spot, you know? Mm. Yum. 
All right, guys. Can I have some more? Huh? Maybe she's gonna eat them all, guys. I want all the rest of it. Yeah. How did you eat those so fast? I just... Just couldn't stop? Yes. <laughs> all right, well, I guess you eat them all. Even that tiny one that's in the corner. All the tiny bits, too. That is all the tiny bits. Okay. Let's go have one last look of everything that we preserved up in this video. It was all 100% free and it's stuff that I can give to my family. Like I said earlier in the video, when the food is sitting in my refrigerator, it's a source of stress when it's starting to get a bit older, especially if I paid money for it. When I've put it in my freezer and I've preserved it, it gives me a feeling of security. It gives me a feeling of comfort. So it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort for, in my opinion, a huge payoff. All right, guys, we've got our soup base. We've got all of our veggies up in here to make a delicious vegetarian or meat soup. We've got a base for a bone broth. We've got the eggplant thinly sliced up. We've got our pears, our two bags of pears, our two bags of cantaloupe, our zucchini that we chopped really small in the Thermomix and preserved. And last but not least, our tomatoes. In about two weeks, we're gonna make a very lovely sauce for lasagna and spaghetti. And we're gonna do a huge bulk batch to give to my family and to also gift to a friend. So I'm right now collecting tomatoes, which is why we're doing these whole. But look at all of this food, you guys, that I got given 100% free. And it's all food that I'm going to be feeding my family with 100% free. I am so, so grateful. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys again here on Wednesday when hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got our part two to decluttering my whole entire house and getting back on top of life. <laughs> Quickly, I wanna mention the peppers that I showed you guys earlier. They were no good. I had to throw them out, but we're eating the cucumbers, the pomegranate, and the sweet potato for dinner. And that's it for this video. See you next time, friends. Bye.